Here are three spring type of outfits. I filmed these during a small warm up that New York had. Basically anything above 50 is like summer to us. So it was a perfect opportunity to get some filming done. And spring is actually coming in a few weeks. We're gonna have to move the hour forward. So hope you guys enjoy these looks. Fit number one is for the colder days of spring. Let's start with the jacket. This is the collaboration between White Mountaineering and Levi's. I've talked about this extensively, but this is a very good looking jacket that I would consider a statement piece because of its intricate and unique design. I paired this trucker hat that I got from Chicago from just doing touristy stuff. And this one specifically was from the gift shop at the Sears Tower, shout out to anyone in the shy. And I burned the leather patch just to give it a more rustic look and so I can make it easier to style. So I threw this on because the hat matches the denim jacket. And I personally only do this if the items are in close proximity together. If my socks and sneakers were in this dark navy color, it comes off way too matchy matchy if that makes sense. When they are next to each other, it looks more cohesive and they complement each other. I don't know, it's really hard to explain but that's my thought process. Now the hoodie is from Alpha Industries and what I love about it is its abstract cuts to your standard hoodie. A hoodie has your standard pouch and sort of a v-neck collar because that's where the hood material starts. This one ignores that and gives you a nylon kangaroo pouch along with the standard standard pouch as well, and a higher neck collar for your hoodie. Honestly, kind of makes you look like an astronaut, but that's a good thing because it makes your fit stand out a little bit more, it makes it look a lot more unique. These corduroy pants are from Folk, they have that typical vertical texture to it. Full transparency, this was sent over by Mr. Porter when I collaborated with them for Chinese New Year. And these are expensive pants, okay? I'm sure you can find a more affordable corduroy pants out there, but this one does have a noticeable bump in premium materials than say a $50 pair of pants. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video on like high fashion versus fast fashion or something like that. I understand that everyone isn't into fashion as much as I am because I make content on it. A lot of people are more casual about it, Besides, I started off the channel with H&M anyways. So let me know if you guys want to see something like that. So the reason I went olive on olive is that's actually one method I have with coming up with an outfit. Solid color base and any color jacket as long as they complement each other. You guys have definitely been doing this already with all black as a base, but try it out with different colors. I tried it with olive just to step out of my comfort zone and I think it works, especially because of the sneakers. These are the Kraft Air Force Ones, which is a must pick up in my opinion, because like the pants, there is a noticeable bump in premium materials. I'm trying to avoid saying amazing quality all the time, by the way, but the leather is just way better than the standard one. If you get the Kraft model, do it. But I am in love with these mainly because this model is more cream versus pure white and that really complements the olive outfit base that I have. Plus the dark orange of the swoosh complements the denim jacket in terms of complementary colors and I think it's one of my better fits. I feel really good in it. I wore zero black in this fit so it helped push me creatively. Hope you guys got some insight on this fit. Next up is a fun fit I've put together. This isn't tech wear as its narrow definition. This is just me experimenting with a new item and focusing on complementing a motif. So this jacket specifically is from a brand called L House. Definitely Japanese inspired but with some tactical touches to it. Pretty unique jacket. I really see these worn out in public. And I paired it with this Lululemon Pulse shirt. Breathable, anti-stink, and very comfortable to wear. I like that this shirt isn't pure white. I know on camera it might look like it's very white, but it's more of a very, very light gray. And that contrasts nicely against the jacket. I like that the split hem is sticking out a bit. It's a pretty nice touch. Pants are the ACG Woven Cargos. I've talked about these a lot as well. They dropped the price by almost half, but they did raise it a bit. There is still some in stock, but only for the bigger dudes. So for reference, I am wearing a size small and I complemented it with a pair of slip-on white Vans. So I picked Vans because it does have sort of an Asian inspired design. It's a low top, no laces. I just thought it would complement the jacket more so than let's say the Akron Impresto's or something like that. And you guys know me, white sneakers, olive pants, and a black top. That's my go-to color combo. But I threw on a black beanie instead of my mustard one because I wanted it to look more stealthy. So there you go. And the last fit is something you'll see me in more often than not. I am not always dressed up in fancy items. It's always something like this. On this day, it was New York's first day out of freezing temperatures. I had not skated in three weeks. I was getting sad. But enough about my seasonal depression. Let's start with the SB Dunks. Yes, I understand me skating these may upset some of you. But I've always wanted these as a kid, I couldn't afford them, and I picked skating back up last year when the hype for these was insane, and I could still barely afford them. But I bought them for the purpose of creating content. So yeah, I'ma skate them, I'ma rock them. I wanna give you guys good insight on these sneakers if I ever make a dedicated video on them on how to style them or just breaking it down. Because there's just so much gatekeeping nowadays. I don't wanna tell you, they are meant for skating, <laughs> I'm gonna skate in them. Jordan 1s are meant for the hardwood, and you don't see anyone playing them. Workwear is meant for actual carpenters and construction workers, etc. 
you don't see a lot of guys doing that either but also i will tell you that they are meant for skating and i wanted to see how they actually perform so what i'm trying to say is i don't care if you skate them I don't care if you treasure it, I don't care if you wear it casually, clothes are clothes, these items are for sale to the public, let people enjoy them in all forms. Anyways, rant done. These are the Valentine's SB Dunks from 2014 I believe, they skate okay to me. I'm still a Vans guy at the end of the day, but the white panels of the sneakers call for a pair of pants that aren't black, unless you like a lot of contrast, so I have on these express jeans. Yes I still wear denim, these are a straight cut stretchy denim perfect for street fits, perfect for skating. The top is a simple oversized long sleeve from Carhartt. I have on a Nike golf hat, some jade black glasses to elevate the fit slightly, and a simple necklace from Rose Gold and Black with a simple jade pendant that my mama gave to me. As you can see, this fit is as simple as it gets. So whenever it comes down to that, I always throw on something else that'll give it some more depth, you know, elevate it a bit. I didn't do my hair, so I threw on a hat, okay? But a hat can be too casual, so I threw on a pair of metal frames, cool. This fit needs a little tiny pop of color to me, so that's why I threw on this necklace. And that combination comes off a little more thought out than just, you know, rocking a t-shirt, jeans, and sneakers, you know? Sometimes simpler is better. I could have also just went with a rose gold necklace for a more subtle touch. And my go-to place for necklaces is the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. Let me take a minute to thank them for supporting the channel. So Rose Gold and Black is the best place to start off at if you guys are new to jewelry. They always have something for everyone, whether you're into bracelets or necklaces. Personally, I really dig all of their minimal designs. And what's so great about picking up any necklace is that you can swap out the pendants for something else, or you could just rock it just as a normal chain by itself. And you can always buy your own type of pendant to continue switching it up. To start off, definitely check out their minimal bar necklaces. Its simple, sleek, and clean design makes it versatile for a wide range of aesthetics. If I'm ever rocking a simple fit like this last one, I always throw on some sort of metal accessory, and that's the cherry on top. I wear these all the time. They also have an Odyssey necklace that looks pretty dope. It's a little more rugged looking. It's not as sleek and clean as a minimal bar necklace. You could also just pick up a simple chain from them and go your own routes with buying your own pendants. Either way, definitely check out Rolls Gold and Black in the link in the description. That link is going to take you to my special landing page where a ton of items are going to be heavily discounted at up to 25% off. Plus, you're going to get a free bracelet on top of that. And I'm not really sure how long this is going to last, but it's a solid deal. And you could also use the discount code VIBE15 to save even more money. So go ahead and treat yourself. I really appreciate you guys supporting the sponsors. The sponsors support me. You guys support me. They've been supporting my channel since I pretty much started YouTube. So thank you guys for that. And thank you, Rolls Gold and Black, for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, those are the fits. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so glad it's going to start warming up and we're going to have more daylight. Uh, seasonal depression is going to start to fade away slightly. Yo, if you made it this far, comment down below, Kendama. Ugh. I just picked this up for nostalgic reasons. And... Uh, Okay, I, I still don't got it, but um, yeah, comment that down below. That way I know you guys made it this far in the video, and so I know that you're cool. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. You can follow me on TikTok as well. I just started uh, posting often on there as well. Thanks, guys. See you guys in the next one.